Hello there. I'm going to change the introduction, guys. I'm no longer going to call you truthers. I'm going to call you by your true names, which is gods and goddesses, um, because you are, because you're the master of your universe. And before I get into the meat of the video, I just want to tell you that this is the second time recording this because I had my little mic on and I thought, I'm going to do it professional today. I'm going to add my little mic, right? So sound quality is going to be amazing. And then halfway through, there was no sound. So there you go. So when technology technology is my best friend hello there beautiful souls this is jenny at nutritious lives and the well-being guinea pig today's video is about reprogramming the mind the ego and taking opportunities that present themselves in your life so i'm going to split this up into two parts so please enjoy part one and I will see you in part two. Of course, most of the time. But however, right, let's see if I can do as good a job because I was really pleased with the last video. I can't lie. I was just like, yeah, I nailed that first take. Amazing. You know, and then something like that happens and you're like, Ugh. anyway, I'm going to. I'm going to do it so much better the second time around. So introductions out the way with regards to your proper names. I want to talk to you about taking opportunities. I want to talk to you about taking what the ego mind would probably be perceived as risks. But really, most of the time, it's opportunities. So because I, I love being a parrot, so I'm going to try and parrot what I said in the last video. I'm going to get to it. I was talking about the way the ego mind protects us, right? And to tell you how the ego tries to protect us and why we as humans tend to err uh, on the pessimistic side of life, unless we reprogram in our brain, which if you work with nutritious lives, that's what we'll do. But the ego still operates on a very primitive way um, so it perceives as keeping you safe from death right so this is how you've got to understand that when we um, when we uh, have these opportunities social opportunities business opportunities opportunities to meet you know the love of your life whatever our ego will, especially if there's blockages going on already, right, from, from the past, will always try and dissuade us from taking what it perceives as, as a risk, right? So I'm going to talk to you about how this relates to um, me taking opportunities and understanding that now I'm bypassing the ego mind. And the way that I do this is that I know that my I know that um, I'm not my thoughts, and I I can create my thoughts. I can create my world by creating my own thoughts. But however, what I understand now is when the ego mind comes into play, which it does very often because I'm human. We're all human. Um, now, when the ego gets involved for me, I allow it to be there. I accept the fact that this is what the ego is going to do. It's going to throw, throw up reasons why I shouldn't take an opportunity, right? And so, once I sit in that space of accepting that that's what the ego is doing, I can then, because feelings and thoughts change, I can then sit with my intuition and that this is another thing that I do. I'm very, very in tune 
with what I want, my desires, you know, I'm manifesting my world, I'm, I'm being the goddess of my own universe and this is what I want to articulate to you. And I'm going to give you an example of, well, really examples of lots of things that are coming my way at the moment, but an opportunity for me came along in the form of this um, venture, this company, my car club, right, and I because I'm so intuitive now and of course the ego mind tried to get involved and dissuade me from taking this opportunity but because it came in so spon spontaneous and it, it came through inspired action so it wasn't forced right and I are uh, very much um, it's very aligned with my goals um, and what I want going forward, especially with it dovetailing into nutritious lives. It's really, um, it's the, the, the vision is coming together lovely for me. Um, but so what I want to articulate to you is that the ego mind is always going to dissuade you from really um, being outside of your comfort zone because of this safety right it's it's almost like the ego tells you it's better it's better the devil that you know than the devil you don't and i've really looked at this opportunity that's come my way with regards to my car club and i'm gonna i'm gonna um really sort of uh, talk to you about how you can make this applicable to your own life and your own situation but the reason why I knew this opportunity was right for me is the fact that it can bring on my own skill set massively now Jen I understand knowing myself now I, I realize and I never realized this before that we don't have to look at earning a living, you know, being um, inspired to earn money and uh, to progress on our own uh, goals, career path, whatever. We don't have to look at it, at it as graft, right? Well, I always used to think that, you know, um, you, you really have to put the work in to, 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 for it to pay dividends. And now I'm realizing my own personal skill set and my own personal skill set is conversing. 